I'm Mitch Ward, I volunteer with Sammy's Friends, and this is Cheryl Wicks, the co-founder of Sammy's Friends and the Chief Operating Officer. And uh, I just want to ask her a few questions. If we're having an event here at Western Gateway Park, uh, how did Sammy's Friends get started, Cheryl? Well, I had a dog named Sammy, and uh, he had a pretty good life. And when I moved to this county, I thought, well, maybe I could help a few other dogs have a good life. So I went out to the shelter and found a total mess. And so I started a volunteer program in 2001. And then I started Sammy's Friends in 2004 to pay for the medical care of the shelter animals. And then in 2010, Kurt and I uh, contracted with the county to actually run the shelter. I'm sure a lot of people wonder how Sammy's Friends got its name. That's how. Um, what kind of help does Sammy's Friends offer the community? If you have a person who is so they can't pay for medical care. Do you help them? We do. We have we run the shelter, but we also have a program in the community to help animals that belong to people that, you know, they're not shelter animals. So we help about 800 animals with medical care every year in the wow. community. And then we give out about 1,500 spay and neuter vouchers to get animals spayed and neutered in the community. That's a tremendous service to the county. It is. And hopefully it helps not to have so many animals in the shelter. How many volunteers at Sammy's Friends? Well, there's about a hundred volunteers that come on a regular basis to the shelter every week. But then there are lots of other volunteers that like foster animals, people like you who killed yourself to put on an event like this. Uh, there's people that transport animals. So probably if I add up everybody doing everything, there's probably at least 250 volunteers. Do you need more? Oh yeah, we always need more. There you go, people. It's very rewarding. I, I have to tell you from personal experience, very rewarding to help an animal that needs help, and there's plenty of opportunity to do that at Sammy's Friends. Tell me a little bit more about Sammy's Friends. What kind of, anything weird happen, or is... Oh my God, every day is just completely weird. <laughs> it's drama. Fun though, right? Drama, drama, and more drama all but, the time. But all fun, yeah. Mostly fun, it is yeah. fun. And you know, the funnest, funnest part is when you see an animal go out the door with a brand new family that's happy to have the animal, and then we hear from them in about a month saying, we love our dog, we love our cat, we love our horse. It's the best animal we ever had. Thank you. And they send us pictures of their happy family. It's, you know, that's why we all do it, because it makes us happy. I've seen that multiple times, and it is. It gives you a really great feeling to even have a little bit of participation yeah. and help in that scenario. It does. So, Take Cheryl, it. Cheryl, what about uh, the euthanasia rate at the shelter? I know before Sammy's friends took it over, it was it was pretty high. It was like 68% or something like that yeah. when the sheriff's department ran it. But since Sammy's friends has taken over, what, what is it now? It's less than 1% now. That's amazing. Yeah. So if I add up all those animals that would have been killed, that means about 25,000 animals didn't get killed because That's of all the things that all of us do to help them. That's a wonderful thing right there. It is a wonderful thing. Where is Sammy's Friends? Where, where are your locations? It's at 14647 McCourtney Road, uh, which is about three miles up the road from the uh, fairgrounds and right before you get to the to waste management. And that's actually the county animal shelter, it is. right? Mm -hmm. but we and is there any other facility? Uh, well, there's the Grass Valley City Shelter, which is in downtown Grass Valley on Freeman. But But Sammy's Friends has like a thrift shop where people can, if they want to donate yeah. something, they can donate it there and it goes to a lot of good, right? So we have a thrift store on East Main Street and uh, we sell a lot of merchandise there and all of the merchandise, I mean all of the funds that we get from selling it go to pay for shelter animals. Um, and um, you know, it's just, we started that in uh, March of 2013 and it's just, it's wonderful, and there's probably about, oh, well, there's probably about 30 people that help out in the thrift store, um, you know, every day. And the thrift store is huge. I mean, we started out with about a third of a building, and then we moved to a half a building, and then we moved to the entire downstairs, and then we moved upstairs, and it just, I don't know what we're going to do. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. That's kind of the story of Sammy's Friends in general. It's constantly growing. It's, it's grown by leaps and bounds since I've known about the organization. That's been about seven years. So. And then, of course, the one the one thing we haven't mentioned is the pit stop, Sammy's pit stop. So Mitch's wife, Beverly, is our animal behaviorist who does wonders with our animals. And then she has the pit stop on her own property where she can take uh, not only dogs from the shelter home with her, but other dogs from uh, other paying customers that go home. And, and uh, 
Mitch and Beverly live in a giant uh, doghouse. Basically. With how yeah. many dogs? Well, we won't, we won't get into no, that. No, we won't go into that part. <laughs> People think we're weird. <laughs> we'll get arrested. <laughs> but, you know, you love those dogs, and it's, uh, it's a very rewarding thing to take one in and rehabilitate it. And, and see it change and the way it deals with people and other dogs and, and then it gets adopted and it's just a wonderful thing and the people love the dog, it, it, it changes the dog and it turns it into a wonderful pet and everybody's happy. And we feel the same about our kitties too, people love the kitties Absolutely. they take home and they're, you know, the kitties are a lot of fun too, they don't get to come out like this. But. So if you're not volunteering at Sammy's Friends, Give it a shot. You might find that it's a lot of fun. It's very rewarding. I can and, tell you that from personal experience. And if you don't have time to uh, volunteer, you might have time to donate. We also need money all the time. We do. And we're very grateful for both time and money and anything else anyone wants to give us. Yep. So it costs about $650,000 a year to run the animal shelter. We get about half that money from the county uh, in our contract. And the rest of it we raise through our thrift store through grants, writing, through donations, and through um, events. And most of the animals we get here are strays. They're not always in the best medical condition, and that's why it costs so much to get them into good repair so they can be adopted into homes and have a good life. The other thing that we always look for, um, other than money, of course, is uh, volunteers. Every single day for the past 15 years, our dogs get a walk in the morning and the afternoon and it takes about 10 people a day to do that, so that's like 70 volunteers a week. And then we have about another 10 that work up at our cat facility to clean cat cages and play with the cats and help adopt them. So that's about another 70 people. So at any given time, we have maybe 125 volunteers. And I would say over those 15 years, we've probably had at least 1,500 different volunteers. So we love volunteers, if you can volunteer. Oh, we also have office workers who are volunteers. So come on out and see us and fill out an application and join us and you'll have a really good time. Our volunteers say this is the best thing that happens all week long. So come and see us.